already everyone so you guys gotta step by the title of today's video we're gonna be giving you guys a toolbox tour i recently got this used toolbox off of facebook marketplace really nice toolbox um it holds most of my tools in there um it's a really nice toolbox and i do have more tools in this but these are most of the tools that i use on a day-to-day day-to-day day, day -day basis um, but i do have some other tools and some other spots so let's go ahead and get started all right so first off in this top drawer um this is a craftsman ball bearing tool chest it's a pretty um, medium-sized toolbox but in here i have most of my pliers and stuff um these i use for a few lines um there is some stuff in here that isn't supposed to be in here like wrenches um just some stuff that's not supposed to be in here but yeah these are mostly just pliers and stuff like that um in the next drawer we have screwdrivers um adjustment screwdrivers with carburetors low and high speed jets um drill bits some other stuff nut drivers screwdrivers phillips flathead drill bits um there's a lot of stuff in here so a bunch of um here's a file there's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff but yeah so that's the second uh, one this is the third one and here i have um impact socket sets for impacts um it goes from 13 all the way up to let's see 27 so 13 to 27 impact socket sets um over here we have some uh, adapters and stuff um three eighths to half inch three eighths to quarter inch half inch to three eighths a bunch of different adapters and stuff um ratchets um most of these are actually craftsmen but um recently i don't really like to start using craftsmen anymore these are a lot of the older craftsman tools so they don't really work as good as they used to i did um buy this ratchet the other day from harbor freight extendable it was like 16 bucks so it's really good torque wrenches um breaker bars stuff like that fourth drawer we have mostly led lights and stuff like that light 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 free puck light from harbor freight uh, another light which doesn't work i need to fix it some um wires chargers and stuff like that um so a couple of gauges and measuring tools stuff like that calipers um i also have some of my air hammer chisels in here and my air hammer as well um testers so yeah a lot of stuff like that in the what is this fifth drawer yep in the fifth drawer we have a lot of our sockets from 27 all the way down to 10 millimeter um right here we have 20s all the way going down to what is that 10 millimeter no six millimeter um one inch going down to quarter inch when it's going down to quarter inch um yeah so these are all mostly craftsman and husky sockets right here right here i have a lot of um mixed up torques and stuff like that over here i have a lot of spark plug sockets um yeah most of these are just spark plug sockets um some pittsburgh what are these um allens i guess uh three eighths allens um a lot of people are surprised but i actually do use walmart tools a lot uh me and my dad use the heck out of these three sets of tools right here these are um, walmart brand hyper tough but they're really good we like them because you can just carry them around anywhere and they have a nice rail on there they're not too hard to pull off but they're too not they're not too easy to pull off either some allen wrenches um yeah that's pretty much it for this one and here's the last one um every mechanic has a toolbox full of hammers at least one drawer full of hammers so we got a couple hammers in here some chisels um more oil filter wrenches another clamp piston ring compressor um some ball joint press tools and stuff like that in our basement we have a lot of um more mechanical tools for cars a lot of presses and stuff like that but we don't have any room in here to put them so yeah we do have a lot more tools this is probably just what um half of the tools we have in here but yeah so that's pretty much it on the toolbox i do have another hyper tough toolbox up here this top one's just empty pen uh this one has some wire brushes and allens and some sandpapers wire brushes and stuff like that so yeah um these are pretty much the rest of my toolboxes i just have that little one this red one and then um this isn't really count as a toolbox but it's just a storage organizer and i do have another one right there too but yeah so that's pretty much it on my tools um i'm a small engine mechanic i use the heck out of these tools these are really useful especially one of my favorite tools which is these pliers for fuel lines are really nice and um the other thing for fuel lines are probably i can find them these right here these are actually for cars but they're easy they're really easy to use to pull off fuel lines so they work really nice yeah so that pretty much that's pretty much it for my toolbox i hope you guys like this video if you did be sure to like and subscribe it would help out my channel a lot and 
Uh, let me know what you guys want to see more of, but we'll see you guys in the next one.